Hey everybody, I'm Brian Hart Hoffman, the Editor-in-Chief of Bake From Scratch. And welcome back to another episode of my Fast Fix Baking Series, where delicious and unique recipes meet quick and easy solutions. Today, I'm making grape jelly stuffed peanut butter cookies. You heard that right. A sugary crunch paired with nutty peanut flavor and a jammy center is a PB&J lover's dream. I know it is for me. This recipe and others can be found in my brand new cookbook, Fast Fix Baking. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Before it's peanut butter jelly time, we've gotta make the peanut butter cookie dough first. And this is really easy. We're gonna start in the bowl of the stand mixer and I'm gonna add my brown sugar and I'm gonna add my butter. These are gonna cream together first before we get anything else in the bowl. But the good news is we're gonna turn this on, let those get combined, and then we're gonna combine our dry ingredients over here. So I have a bowl of all-purpose flour, and to this I'm adding baking soda and baking powder. And I'm gonna get these whisked together and ready to go in this recipe. Now I love how simple this recipe is and how quick it comes together in the bowl, but we've got really good flavors and things going in that make it really unique and you're gonna absolutely love it. Let's talk about creamy peanut butter. I'm sure you might be wondering, what if I wanna use crunchy? Well, you do you. Just add peanut butter of your choice. I will say that this is not a natural peanut butter. This is from a commercial peanut butter brand and it does make a difference in this recipe. So that's just something that you want to take in mind as you make this in your kitchen. Let's get our eggs in. So we're gonna add one large egg and then I have two egg yolks. Just make sure you get those eggs fully combined before we add any other ingredients. Give it a little speed. And then we're gonna stop because I'm gonna raise the stand mixer, I'm gonna scrape off the paddle and we're gonna get everything combined properly in the right order before we add our next ingredient. So this is always an important step in baking is to stop and scrape the paddle. And then of course the sides and bottom of the bowl too, just to make sure we don't have any of our ingredients stuck anywhere else. Then we're gonna get the good stuff coming in now. We're gonna add our peanut butter, we're gonna add honey, and then we are going to get vanilla extract in. And it smells as good as you want it to. I love baking with peanut butter. I feel like that's a scent in and of itself. And the honey is really nice in this recipe too. And vanilla extract, the essence of baking, the essence of baking. And then just get that nice and combined as well. So you're looking for the peanut butter, the honey and the vanilla to combine with everything in that brown sugar mixture. And then, See how fast this is? That's why we're calling it Fast Fix. Mixer on a low speed. We're gonna get our dry ingredients in the bowl. And this is one of those recipes that if you don't wanna do the, the filling of the jam, you're gonna still have a really good peanut butter cookie. But go ahead and make it with the jam too. It's really a fun version of PB&J. All right. We'll stop and scrape down, but then this cookie dough is gonna be covered and off to the refrigerator for one hour. After refrigerating the dough, it's time to scoop our dough and prepare to assemble the discs that we're gonna fill with the grape jelly. But first, I'm just scooping with a one and a half tablespoon scoop, forming each one into a round, and then I'll flatten them into two and a half inch disc as I assemble. So it's good to work in stages here. But once you start your assembly, you need to be ready to put the jelly in and get right onto the baking tray. And here's what you do. With each piece of the peanut butter cookie dough, you're gonna place it in the palm of your hand and flatten it. You're looking for about a two and a half inch wide disc. And go ahead and make the edges a little thinner, just so when we're layering it with the second piece, this is where we're gonna get them to uh, crimp together. When it's time for assembly, be sure to have a second disc already prepared and waiting so that you can start scooping your grape jelly and then assemble all at one time. So I'm taking about maybe one and a half to two teaspoons of the grape jelly and placing it in, in the center of the dough. Then I'll take a second piece of the dough and just lay it over and then gently bring the edges together and crimp. You'll want to use your fingers to press 
and then smooth this outer edge just to make sure we get a nice smooth finish on the dough. Then you can place each one on the baking tray where we'll get it ready for baking. After you have all of them on the tray, and the tray can hold about six, I think. If you have a larger tray, you could put eight. But I've got six on the tray. I'm just gonna sprinkle each one of these with some turbinado sugar, and we're gonna get a beautiful crunch on these as it bakes. These bake really quickly too. You head them off to a 325 degree oven to bake for about 10 to 14 minutes in total. The full baking instructions can be found in the recipe. The worst part of baking these is waiting until they've cooled completely to enjoy them. But now it's peanut butter jelly time. And look at that. Oh yeah. They are soft. They are delicious. They smell good too. Everybody's gonna love these. You know, you could store these in an airtight container for up to three days, but I don't think they're gonna last that long. Mm. I'm gonna dance about that. That is so good. There's no way they're lasting three days. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen today, and I can't wait for you to make this recipe. You'll find it in the description of the episode, along with information about how you can be a part of the Bake From Scratch community. And please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any delicious moments here in the kitchen. Now it's your turn. Preheat your ovens. It's time to bake.